Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter Lobbit here, and today I am bringing you guys another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over five things I love about my Land Rover LR4. So let's not waste any time and let's get right to it. First thing I love about my Land Rover LR4 would have to be the looks of it. I mean, this thing just looks stunning, especially finished off in this Santorini black metallic paint job that I have here. It looks so good. And then like the front fascia, right here it just looks so mean in this black and like the headlights as far as it's got it has the uh halogens with the daytime running leds right there as you can see with that land over kind of styling also has the fog lights down there and i mean the presence of this thing it's massive so it looks so good going down the road and then as far as the side goes of course you have the Land Rover side grills, I say Land Rover stamped in right there, which I think looks fantastic in that silver kind of aluminum color with the black. And then with the rims, this thing is running on 255-55 R19, so it does sit on a 19 inch rim, which I think these rims look fantastic as well. And here's a side view of it, as you guys can see there. Wow, this thing is so amazing. I think by far this is the best looking vehicle in my opinion, of course, it can vary with your guys' opinion as always and then you have the, the the rear end which is boxy of course that's land over styling and i also think that these leds that you have here these uh tail lights look fantastic as well as you guys can see all leds in there as well and this is a split tailgate so it is really comfortable when you're tailgating at like a football game or just camping or whatnot with that and yeah guys that is my number one so far of the things i love about the lf4 would be the styling let's move on to number two all right so the second thing i love about my land Rover lr4 would have to be the engine and the power as you guys can see this thing has a five liter naturally aspirated direct injection v8 which puts out a whopping 375 horsepower and 375 pound feet of torque and let me tell you guys this thing absolutely moves and this Land Rover actually weighs about nearly 6,000 pounds and it gets up to 60 in zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds, which is definitely pretty fast for such a hefty um, vehicle as of this. So yeah, that would be my second favorite thing would have to be the engine and the power. Let's move on to number three. So number three on my list, the top things I love about my Land Rover LR4 would have to be the interior of this thing. The interior of this thing is absolutely phenomenal. As you can see, I have the black on black. I have the black leather with the piano black veneers on the sides and as a trim inside as well. And these seats are absolutely comfortable. Um, it is high quality premium leather, so this is nice to sit in. And it comes with this nice steering wheel as well. Of course, you have your multimedia settings here, uh, cruise control settings as well here, and then your voice and change the station and stuff like that. And here are the gauges on it as well. And then, of course, you have your display there. And, like, honestly, guys, everything in here is, like, aluminum. Like, even the parking brake is aluminum. All the trim is aluminum. And there's that side as well. And this Land Rover LR4 actually comes with uh, three sunroofs, as you can see here. You have the first sunroof, which actually opens. And then you have two in the rear for the second and third row, because this is a seven-seater as well. And those two back there are actually fixed. But, I mean, the visibility in this thing is absolutely great um, with these high windows this big uh, windshield in the front and then in the back as well you have that huge rear tailgate with that huge window too so you can see where you're going it does come with a backup camera and sensors of course as well and then also as far as interior goes what i love as well is the harman cardone logic 7 sound system which is the highest sound system you can get in this it does come with just a harman cardone and then you can get the logic 7 and this thing is pretty well kitted out you have the upgraded sound system the nice leather uh you also have all the five cameras on here so you actually have each camera in the mirror the two cameras in the front and one in the back so you do have that as well and of course the leather dash which is a great touch as well too so that would honestly have to be my second or no my third favorite thing in this land over lr4 let's move on to the fourth all right so the fourth favorite thing about the lr4 to me would have to be the off-road capability now of course, if you guys know Land Rover, Land Rover is, has been made for off-roading since 1948, and that's pretty much their main thing is for off-roading. Now here would be the uh, 4x4 information display for Land Rovers. Um, as you can see, you, it tells you if you're, what gear you're in, if you're in high or low range, and if you articulate your wheels, like your back wheel, this actually goes up and down, showing you where your wheels are. And if I turn my wheel like I am now, you'll see the, the steering wheel on there turns as well, so I know exactly where my, where my, um, my wheels are when I'm off-roading. And then also it does have the cameras like I mentioned earlier. So you can see when you're off-roading, 
Uh, if you're gonna hit anything or anything like that, you can hit this here and enlarge those. And that really does help out when you're off-roading as well. Now down here, of course, what landowners are known for is their terrain response system. So you do have all these settings such as, um, let me see, grass, gravel, snow. Um, you have mud ruts, uh, sand, and then rock crawl. And then also it comes with a um, air suspension, so you can actually put it in access mode, normal or off-road height, which raises it. I'll show you that, guys, in a second when I get out of the vehicle. And then, of course, low and high range. Now, also, I wanted to mention, if I go up here and I put this in this, say, uh, grass, gravel, snow, you will see what pops up there is the center and rear diff locks. As of now, they are um, unlocked, but if you're going off-road, Lando will actually automatically locks them or unlocks them if you need them or not. So it does has a rear a rear diff lock and a center diff lock as well. Let me go ahead and raise the suspension for you guys and show you what this actually looks like outside of the vehicle. So let's do that really quickly here. Let me hit this button and when I shut the door, it will raise. Let's get out really quick and show you what that actually looks like. And as you can see there, it is raising up right now. And that is off-road height. And then in the rear as well. There it is. So you do have a lot of um, travel in the rear wheels. Now also what makes it a great off-road vehicle would have to be the uh, approach angle. Now look at that approach angle, like no overhang in the front whatsoever. It's really, really high as well. And then of course the ground clearance. I think this thing has about 12 inches of ground clearance in off-road height. And also um, there is another height as well called extended and super extended mode. But that, those only engage when you actually get stuck or bottom out. So you can actually engage them yourself, unfortunately. But here's the departure angle. See how it kind of, uh, increases up gradually that's kind of when you're going uphill that's what that's made for let's get a shot of the rear here also as you can see and there it is so yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing off-road um, i actually own a discovery 2 as well i took it off-road many many times i haven't done that much off-roading with the discovery 4 yet but i hope to do some soon so keep in touch about that as well so let's get on to number five and the last one the thing I love about the Land Rover LR4. All right, now the fifth and final thing that I love most about my Land Rover LR4 would have to be the Land Rover community. Now, Land Rover community is huge as far as like followers on Instagram, um, people that always talk about Land Rovers. Land Rover is like a, like, um, like a hobby, so to say. It's not just a car, it's actually a hobby as far as like off-road communities. Even Land Rover themselves hosts um, like Land Rover Experience, Land Rover's Owner's Day, where you can take your own Land Rover off-road with a bunch of other Land Rover enthusiasts themselves. So once you buy, honestly, once you buy a Land Rover and you drive one, you'll never want to drive anything else. That's why I've owned a um, Discovery 2. I got that Discovery 2 back in, I believe, 2011, and I still have it to this day. And I absolutely love that vehicle. I would never get rid of it or anything like that. And I hope since I had that for so long, I'll have this one for so long as well. And I honestly, I will always drive Land Rovers for the rest of my life and so will my family. Um, it's a safe vehicle, of course. It's luxurious. It pretty much everything in one that you can possibly want. Power, luxurious, off-road capability, uh, practicality. As you can see, you can put so much room and space back there to pack up stuff. Tow. It's just honestly everything in one package. And that's honestly the fifth and final thing that I love most about my Land Rover LR4. Um, so I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, please just give it a thumbs up. I'll try to do more videos um, either of my Land Rover or try to come up with some other stuff. So please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video and I'll you guys take care. It's everyone. They trick our minds to get what they want.